Hey, what's up? It's, uh, it's Kale. I'm here just gonna be playing some free play of Magic the Gathering uh, Arena, just to kind of show you what it's like and, you know, get the word out there. So I'm just gonna be playing some free play, which is, like, non-competitive. I am working on a dinosaur deck. It's not nearly finished. Um, the game does micro transactions for packs, but you can as you can see here, um, but you can also get them by in-game rewards, which I have run a lot of them out. Um, they also have drafts. Uh, drafts cost, like, gems, which you can get through various rewards, or uh, you can buy them. And quick drafts cost 5,000 coins. So... That's about the equivalent of like five packs, so it's really not that bad. And then there's also constructed, where you can pay gems. Um, this is like the competitive, but you can get more rewards than just free play. But I'm just gonna be playing free play because I don't have any stuff and I don't really have any money to be spending on magic right now. And if I did, I would have bought packs to finish up my deck. And the cool thing is they do do like a. This is me. I'm apparently desert. I forgot that I changed my avatar. So I'm gonna be playing a dinosaur deck. Like I said, it's not really finished yet. I don't really have any good turn like two or one place, so I'm gonna mulligan. <clears throat> now this is gonna be hard to follow if you don't know how to play Magic the Gathering, but I'm gonna try. This is even worse. I should have kept the first. Well, I'm gonna keep this hand and just hope that I draw a forest. I know that's kind of the. There we go. Because then turn two, I'll drop Drover of the Mighty, which gives me an extra. Uh, basically, an extra land. And when he's out, when he a dinosaur comes out, he's three three, which is pretty sick. Jace over here is playing red, which is going to basically be my natural predator. Hopefully he doesn't lightning bolt or something like it. Yep. <sighs> kinda, kinda saw it coming. I need more Drovers of the Mighty for this deck. Such a good card. So, <clears throat> if you played this game, you can play it pretty quick. You can pr play like a pretty uh, fast-paced game. I'm probably just going to upload one game Per like video, just so I can get them up. Um, I'm not gonna block that. That sucks. So this game's really, really well done. Um, it's not gonna be replacing Magic Online, but it is. Like, not to, not immediately, but I think they're going to try to phase Magic Online out, just because this is a much better system. It's more modern. Um, Magic Online feels very, very dated. It looks bad. Um, the AI is kind of wonky in it. I've played it a, a decent amount. Yeah, it's going to be one of these games. Ugh, I knew I should have mulliganed. This is terrible. To just show you this this card right here. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna take full control for a minute to show you. Is extremely good. Um, if you can ramp really quickly or get a lot of dinos out quickly. The only problem is he's so susceptible to removal. God, this is terrible. I'm probably going to queue up for another one after this. Maybe I'll show two matches. Ow. <sighs> yeah, this is no good. This is no good.
I mean, if I could have survived maybe like the first like six or seven turns, I probably would have had this. I don't know. Um, but... I don't know why I didn't do that. That's GG. Also, one thing I like about this is that you can you can chat with people, but it's canned, so um, you don't get the toxicity of the Magic community, because honestly, I played a lot of Magic the Gathering, I played a lot of pre-releases and things like that, and uh, it's, it's it can be very toxic. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede, man. Like, I can't do anything. So I'm gonna show you the deck building thing really quick, for those interested. So, you can come up here and do decks. Let's do a new one. So you have uh, two different views here. And you can search. So let's say I wanted to look for Drover the Mighty. I only have two. Um, the neat thing about this is that there are these cards called wild cards, which they're they're equivalent to the rarity, and let's say I wanted to put three, three Drover of the Mighty in this deck, and I only have two. If I have a an uncommon wild card, I can, I can exchange that wild card for another Drover, and uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty nifty. So you have all of these ways to sort things by color, by multiple colors. Let's say I want to do green, red, and white. Um, which is what, what my dino deck I'm building is. Maybe when I get it finished, I'll do like a tech video for it to sh explain to you how it works. You know, you can do multicolor. Um, you can sort it by rarity, owned, unowned. You know, the type of card. It's I. They don't have it sorted by set, and they don't have it sorted by the number of cards you have or the cost. And I wish that they had that, and probably at some point they will. Um, currently in the state of the game, there is no way to um, add friends or anything like that. Man, I'm one away from this. So, see, I've done all my like daily and weeklies. I've been playing this game a lot. Another red player. You know, we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. Because we have Thunder Herd uh, Migration, which is a pretty good card. And this is mostly green and red with just a small, small splash of white. That's not good. That's exactly what I didn't want. So this card, uh, it's only two, and it puts another basic land out into play tapped. Um, I, it, it, it can cost three and two colorless or a green, or I can just reveal Dino. I'm just going to reveal Carnage Tyrant. And then I'll probably just put out planes just so I have one. Most of the the cards that I want to play either have double green or a single red, so minus the Planeswalker and a few other things. And obviously, like right now, I don't have any removal or anything in this. So, um. I think if I play another green, play this guy, I'll be able to also play this guy this turn, yeah. So, the Tepic Huntmaster, uh, he gives, he, you can tap him to give haste to something, which means they can attack the first turn they come out, and it makes Dino Spells cost one colorless less, which, it's, it's not great, but it's alright, um, not bad. I mean, I, I can already put out Blossom Fred Maul, so, that's pretty good. I'm gonna tap him, give him haste. 
And it has trample, so any damage blocked will carry over. Any, like, leftover. Yeah. Figured he wasn't gonna sacrifice these. And he conceded. That happens a lot. Alright, got a card. What is it? Nothing that I care about. So yeah, that's Magic the Gathering Arena. I'll be doing some more videos on this, probably. Um, they're easy to throw together, and honestly, I've been playing it so much. But, um... Plus, I, I'm pretty lonely now. I don't have, like, you know, people to hang out with regularly. My roommate just moved out, so... I'll have some time to do this. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, or just, you know, message me. Like, I'm sure most of the people who are going to be seeing this are my friends. So, alright. I will see you guys in the next one. And if you want me to build a certain kind of deck also, just let me know.